Hello, hello, hello. Kathy, and I love to be selling. <gasps> this could be the biggest money making mistake you're making. And I've made it, and I want to keep you from making it. And I want to bring it up because I heard it during eBay Open 2024. And I actually heard it from two sellers. I was like, no, no, no. And I'll explain to you what it is because I don't want you making this money-making mistake. And actually, too, um, if you don't know, I hosted the New York City live kickoff party for eBay Open. And it came up as a question during our live kickoff party. So it's like, we need to talk about this because you don't want to make this money-making mistake where you're just like throwing your money away, throwing your money away. Um, and, and, and we're going to outline it. And I'm going to explain to you what it is. Um, and, and some of the sellers that are recommending doing this, I understand why, but they're not sort of doing a full disclosure about it. So let's, let's get right to it and discuss it. So this huge eBay money-making mistake is tied in with shipping. Okay. And shipping typically is one of those things where, um, especially when newer sellers are coming in, it is a bit confusing. And I think actually, cause I was listening to, um, Stuart, who's the head of eBay shipping, his presentation from eBay open. And he actually said, I was like, good for you, Stuart. He says that shipping can be confusing and it can be, which is why it can cost you as a seller money when you make this money making mistake and you don't want to do it. So this is what I heard. And I heard it from two sellers and two very experienced sellers. Um, and, and actually next time I see them, I'm, I'm going to bring it up for them um, because I don't think they explained it fully enough. And this is the thing when you hear eBay selling tips. So when you hear tips about shipping is a big one. So when you hear tips, let's just say shipping. Okay. And also packaging. Okay. Is we have zone pricing in the United States years ago. And this is why it's important when you're listening to videos or you're listening to podcasts is to note the day and time, I'm sorry, the month and the year, um, that the person is giving you information because particularly on shipping, if you're listening to information from even just a couple of years ago, it's changed, right? For instance, uh, United States Postal Service brought in ground advantage that wasn't there a couple of years ago. So things have changed. eBay now has competitive co commercial rates on Federal Express and UPS, and they have gotten very good, particularly when you're shipping heavier things eBay now does cubic pricing. Um, my suspicion is it's in response to the fact that so many sellers were using pirate ship. Um, so this is my advice to you. So the two sellers that were recommending doing free shipping. Okay. Um, and one of the sellers that was recommending doing free shipping um, sells a lot of shoes and a lot of sneakers. And so what they were saying was because they sell a lot of shoes and sneakers, one of the ways that they choose to stand out in eBay search is they offer free shipping. Now, full disclosure, they are on the East Coast. So that's my first thing about shipping is when somebody's giving you a shipping tip, okay, this can be on social media, this can be on YouTube, this can be podcast, this can be TikTok, is where are they and what do they sell? It's very different to talk about free shipping when you sell lightweight things, um, I'm going to pick up my pen because this is probably like four ounces tops. Um, it's just not a lot of money. So by rolling shipping in, which is maybe costing you three or four dollars, it's not that much money because this is a thing to do free shipping, which both these sellers were advocating is you sell the pen, you ship the pen, the buyer gets the pen depending on what your return policy is, um, let's say you take returns back for any reason, okay, is they're then going to, or let's just say they changed their mind. Um, it wasn't the blue they wanted. So they're shipping back to you. You get it back. And typically what eBay's looking for is that you refund the entire amount. So that means that you are out the initial shipping. Also, depending on the sellers that you're listening to, if you're doing free returns, you're out the initial shipping 
and you're at the return label. And with free returns is you're taking a return back for any reason. So that means that you could be out $8. Now, because one of the sellers that shared is a very, very large seller, and I'll see this with some very, very large sellers, they've got the margins to do it. I mean, if you're selling, um, you know, 50 items a day, 60 items a day, it comes out, you can, you can, it, it works for your business because you're just so, so large. You can absorb that. You can absorb free shipping and you can absorb free returns. I've got a seller that does sell a lot. Seller friend, they sell over a million dollars a year on eBay. They do free shipping and they do free returns. And what you may not be aware of with sellers that sell a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, they can actually go to carriers like USPS, like FedEx and negotiate their own rates. So they're not even going through the eBay shipping system. They are doing their own rates that they've gotten from USPS or UPS or FedEx and uploading the tracking. So when people are advocating free shipping, what do they sell? And geographically, where are they in the United States? And if you don't know, the eBay open videos are up on YouTube. And let me just show you um, where they are. They're on the YouTube site and it's on under eBay. So it's not under eBay for business. It is under eBay and that you'll find all the videos there. Um, go to playlists and you'll see the videos for eBay open if you want to work your way through. And I'm working my way through. What I do is I work my way through. Um, I take lots of notes and then I share it with my members in my membership. Love to be selling insider. But free shipping, I do free shipping. I do free shipping on lightweight items because I can just roll it right in. It's just a couple of bucks. It's not a lot of money. It is a way to stand out. It is because people like it because it's, you don't have to think. You don't have to do any math. It's $6.99. It's $8.99. It's $12.99. It's $39.99. Um, now, back to free shipping, which one seller brought up, which I thought was a good point, is on very expensive items. So let's say an item is two or $300. They do free shipping basically as a gift to the person because it is such a high ticket item. So you're selling the blouse that's $300. You're selling the coat that's $500, the purse that's $300, the piece of jewelry. It could be a home decor item. It could be anything, but it's it's a several hundred dollars or more is you include free shipping because it is such a high-end, classy thing. It's like when I go to the really high end um, hotels here in New York City, you know, you have the person that opens the door for you, right? So it's, it's you have the doorman, same thing with the high end buildings, they have a doorman, you get that, that extra touch that grace, um, because it is a luxury building a luxury hotel, and they're buying a luxury item in whatever category it is. So consider that if you do have some high-end items, if you do have higher-end items, yeah, free shipping can be a very, very, very nice touch with that. But be careful with free returns because realize that if you're doing free shipping and you're doing free returns, and again, on luxury, you might do it, um, you're going to be eating the shipping both ways. Now, a great tool that eBay has, um, which is product research, used to be called Therapy, is really, really helpful um, when you're taking a look at, should I be offering free shipping or not? And I wanted to pull up because one of the sellers that was talking a lot about free shipping was a sneaker seller. Okay. I personally, when I have sold shoes, when I have sold sneakers and I have not sold a lot, I always charge for the shipping and it's because they're heavy and I'm in New York. And if somebody in California buys them or Texas buys them and I do shipping calculator. So on things that are more than like a pound or two, I charge the shipping Again, because I'm on the East Coast, and I would recommend it too for anybody who's on the West Coast. Also, if you're in the very Southern part of the United States, like Texas, or the very Northern part of the United States, just because there is such a distance to ship to. So to be fair, when I sell sneakers or shoes or heavier items, it could be like a winter coat. Um, it could be um, home decor items. Um, is I do shipping calculator. And again, for my newer sellers, my experienced sellers will know this, um, and we've all made this mistake, is take the item, put it in the box or however you're going to mail it, and weigh it with all the packing material. And I always even add a couple of ounces just to be on the safe side. 
and put the shipping calculator on it. So it's one pound, six ounces, two pounds, 14 ounces, and the dimensions of the box that you are planning to ship in. Because now that eBay is using cubic pricing with USPS, the size of the box matters. Okay. So you're going to want to fill in the size of the box or the poly mailer when you're doing it. And I put it on calculated. That way, if somebody in New Jersey is buying my item, they're going to pay a lower rate than somebody in California or Texas. For me, I feel that's more fair and equitable to my buyer. So I do not do free shipping on heavier items. However, oh, and I have the, this is what I want to show you with product research. So with product research, in case you're wondering, like, should I do free shipping? Shouldn't I do free shipping? What are other sellers doing? Just go on product research and just search it. Nike sneaker men, Nike sneaker women, and it might vary on gender. So, you know, search what it is. And I do a very broad search. I don't get like, you know, Nike sneaker men's eight with the, the style and everything, just broad, just to get an idea of what is going on. And when you do that, it's interesting. Only 24% are doing free shipping. Now, my seller that was selling a lot of foot gear, what they were stating was it's a way to stand out. And they are a high volume seller. So they're selling a higher volume than somebody that perhaps only has 10 or 15 pairs of sneakers. This seller has hundreds of pairs of sneakers. So for them, for their business model, it makes sense to do free shipping. So when you hear somebody advocating free shipping is you got to go and look at what they're selling and how many listings they have up. If they've got 6,000 listings up, 2,000 listings up, and you have 40 listings up, 30 listings up, 100, you are in a different situation. Also, where are they geographically in the United States? Now, this seller happened to be on the East Coast, which means they're shipping all the way across the United States, potentially, or north or south. So their shipping could be quite expensive, but they have a lot of listings. So unless you have the same volume or similar volume, it is not the same business model. I actually, um, because I sell some clothing and at times I flip, which is I'll buy things off eBay and flip them. Um, and there were a couple of sellers I used to like buying and flipping off of. And I noticed, and these are very large sellers that have like, you know, 15,000 listings up. They changed their business model in the past year. They both used to do free shipping. Neither one of them ever did free returns. These are big clothing sellers. And they changed in the past year to paid shipping. So you're paying to get the shipping on the item. And the shipping tends to run, because um, they're both in the Midwest, for me to get it would be like eight, nine, ten dollars And then if I return it, it didn't fit, didn't like it, you know, you get it, you're like, it's just not exactly what I thought. Or, you know, it's just, it, it's not the quality that I thought, you know, whatever, because they'll take returns for any reason. I don't, you know, for returns for any reason is... I'm out the shipping to me, the $9, and then I'm out the shipping back to them. That's $20. Is it worth it to me to return it? Because I'm going to lose $20. And buyers think the same way. Because sometimes they go, eh, I'll just keep it and they'll give it to a friend or they'll, they might resell it. I mean, who knows? So just consider the cost. Okay. Do your math. And when you're listening to people, look up what they sell and how many listings they have up. Again, if you've only got 30 or 40 listings up, you're in a different situation. Um, and again, if it's a luxury item, high ticket item, absolutely think about free shipping. I always think Waldorf Astoria, they have, they have, they have fantastically, um, you know, they have a uniform on, they've got white gloves. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. And they open the door for you. I and mean, there's a whole ambiance to it with the really high end hotels in the city. And it's the same thing. It's part of delivering the product. You know, you're selling something that's a couple hundred or maybe more than a couple hundred, close to a thousand dollars. Yeah, absolutely. It's nice to do the free shipping. And of course, you're beautifully wrapping it and everything. Um, and then my another seller I was looking at who was also advocating free shipping um, at eBay Open, they live right in the middle of the United States. And that's a very different situation. I'm actually going to do a call out on my friends, um, Mark and Robin, who run Bubble Fest. And they're in Chicago, the Chicago area. This is a great area for shipping. Um, and, and they sell shipping supplies is because they're equidistant to pretty much everything in the United States. It's no coincidence um, that oftentimes the shipping hubs, Big Pitney Bow shipping hub that we used to ship to 
um, for international shipping was in Kentucky. Again, right in the middle of the United States. So if you're in the middle of the United States, right, I'm Illinois, I'm Indiana, um, you know, right in the middle is, yes, free shipping for you is going to be a different situation than from somebody in California, the state of Washington, New York, New Jersey, Maine. Because if you're in the middle of the United States, and I really mean like central, I mean, Illinois north, but again, Chicago, again, it's a major hub. Um, there's a lot of deliveries going out of Chicago. It's one thing that's good about shipping out of New York. We have multiple deliveries going out every day. So when I ship, I typically ship first thing in the morning. My items are already in transit because they've already been picked up rather than when you're um, in more, um, you're not in a big city. You're not going to have that kind of um, rapid pickup on your items. But because they're Chicago, it's equidistant everywhere. So again, if you're listening to a seller and they are in the middle of the United States and they're going, yeah, 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 free shipping. Yeah, because they're in the middle of the United States. And also the seller that was advocating who was in the middle of the United States, it wasn't Mark and Robin, um, is also a high volume seller that they have thousands of items going out. So consider how much you're shipping, consider what you're shipping, consider the weight. I really encourage you um, to go to product research and you can, it's right under research in Seller Hub on the desktop. And just look, are people doing free shipping? Because like the seller who um, does do a lot of foot gear and only 24% of people are doing free shipping, it is a way to stand out. So certainly if I'm in the Midwest or if I have a ton of sneakers, I mean hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sneakers. And let's say typically with my sneakers, I don't get a lot of returns, then I might consider doing free shipping because that's something you want to take a look at is are you getting them back or not? Okay. So listen, I always listen. You know, people will say things and I'm like, mm, but then go and check it out. What are the numbers? Now, what this seller was sharing was for them, it was a way to stand out. So for their business, because they have thousands of listings and because only 24% of the people in sneakers do free shipping, it was a way for them to stand out. And you do get a slight boost um, in the best match criteria on eBay doing free shipping. Um, for somebody, I'm gonna pick me like in New York or you're in New Jersey or you're in Connecticut or you're in California and you don't have 5,000 listings up and you might have um, heavier things, then doing free shipping perhaps is not such a wise choice, um, especially if it's a category where you do get some returns even on lightweight items, okay? Like we do a lot of cell phone accessories, you do a lot of jewelry, because it is lighter, it's not gonna be as heavy. Um, but per, you know, perhaps for, for whatever reason, um, you do find that you get more returns in that category, okay? Electronics tends to be a category that gets returns in. Um, just take a look at, do you get returns, okay? If you don't, like my friend with the foot gear, it can be worth it to do free shipping because it does give you that slight boost in best match criteria. It can help you with very competitive categories, but particularly when you're newer, I think it's much wiser to do the paid calculated because you do sort of want to get a handle on shipping, how much it costs you if you do get a return that you're not losing money, especially starting out. And if money's tight and it is tight for a lot of people right now, something like paid calculated can be very, very wise because that way you don't, you don't get any ouchiness, you know, at any point during the month, if you get a return. So do take a look at that. And again, listening to people, what are they selling? What categories are they selling in? Do you sell in those categories? And if you don't, it's not that you don't listen. I was actually listening to some electronic sellers and I sell very few electronics and maybe three or four a year, but I'm always looking for ideas. I'm always thinking, hmm, because you never know what you're going to come across. That's one thing I've learned. You never know what you're going to come across. So I'm always learning, always willing to listen, always looking for nuggets to use. Um, but when you listen, size of the seller, geographic area, okay, and how many listings they have up. And if they talk about their return ratio and if there is any kind of Q&A, to say to them, like, how many, how many returns do you get? Um, what, you know, and again, they may not get a lot. And then you're going to ask, what are they selling? What are they selling? Because it may be dramatically different from what you sell, but it could be exactly what you sell and they're doing the research for you. Okay. Another great way to stand out in search 
um, to get more buyers to your listings um, is to be doing some social media. And social media does not cost you anything to do. Um, I've got a free tip sheet for you. It's right over on my website. I love to be selling. It's the eBay Seller Essentials Social Media Cheats Sheet. So hop on over there and grab that. Because as we're going into fourth quarter, I'm going to date this. It's the end of September 2024. It's going to be highly competitive. Money is tight. People are looking for good value. And you want to make sure that your listings are out there, that they are being seen. Our shoppers are on Google. Our shoppers are on Facebook. Our shoppers are on Instagram. They're on Pinterest. And you can get your listings out there quickly and easily without gobbling up of your valuable time. And use the tips that I've outlined for you in the eBay Seller Essential Social Media Cheat Sheet to bring you more traffic. Again, something like free shipping. The one seller shared um, gives him a little bit of a bump um, in the best match criteria. And another way to be bringing shoppers to you is a little bit of social media. And my essential social media cheat sheet will do that. So grab that. Okay, great. Thank you so much. I'm Kathy, and I love to be selling on eBay.